just a word on, I guess, Jack Dempsey's uh, switch of allegiance. Um, had been rumoured for some time. We know he moved to, across to Glasgow after the 2019 World Cup. Um, has sat out the three years, clearly, uh, as other players around the world have. And we've seen Israel Folau and Charles Piatau, um, head for Tonga and any number of other players um, join Pacific Island nations. Um, I think we all saw this coming. It, it probably still doesn't sit all that well, but um, once you open the gate and you create the avenue for players to be able to pursue this, I guess, what else do you expect? What else do you expect? Uh, one, one question I'll ask you, is there a difference between a, a Charles Peter and an Israel Folau and, and uh, even an Adam Coleman potentially joining a a Pacific Asian, uh, Pacific Island nation and Jack Dempsey? Well, y- yes and no. I-, I mean, clearly those players are, um, I think are going to, what well, you'd think, strengthen Tonga. Um, if we're talking about Charles and, and Izzy, although we probably haven't seen that yet, um, but more time together before the World Cup next year, you would think that improvement might come. Um, yeah. Jack, when you when you look at it on the surface of things, he was a guy who was a, was a proud Wallaby. Um, only played, I think, about fifteen tests, but that's still you know quite a few more than a lot of other players who, who wear the gold jersey. Clearly, um, I, I guess you, you can't you know disseminate really, can you? Um, in my mind, um, does Scotland really need him? I probably don't know enough about the Scottish back row stocks to talk with any great um, qualification. On that, it will be interesting to see if he lines up this weekend. Um, clearly, I think you're probably going to see more of it in the future. Like this is only the the tipping, so not even the tipping point, the, the starting point really um, of players to come. We saw Tawira Kerbalo mentioned in Wallabies discussions. Now, can you imagine that? A, a Wallaby in all black going um, either way, uh, as was, uh, I think it was more Tawira being on, on the front foot saying, you know, if you, you were to be rocked by injury there at number nine, um, I'd be available and clearly the, the the Wallabies number nine stocks are probably healthier than just about any other position. So we're likely not to see that, but yeah, look, I, I mean, it's a, it's not a great look. I don't think for the game, but in the end, if it makes these nations, what we refer to, I guess, as tier two nations, even though that's a, probably a frame and name we're, we're trying to label, we're trying to get rid of um, if it bolsters these teams um, and certainly on the flip side, if you think about a player like Peter Gus, so a cooler who's played one all blacks test off the bench has been left out of this squad. Um, and now instead of having his test career ruined forever, you know, sure he's got to wait three years, but hopefully at some point we see big P G P G S. I just came up with that then had to think about his name um, line up for, for Fiji at some point. So I think there's going to be good and bad instances along the way. And we've probably just got to get used to it. 